The latest Household Affordability Index by the Peter Maritzberg Economic Justice and Dignity Group revealed that the average cost of the household food basket was up 0.6% in the month of August. On a year-on-year -year basis, the food basket went up 12.6%. Households are having to cut back on the quantity of goods and services in order just to survive month on month. Look, for instance, at five liter of cooking oil that has increased by about 52% year on year. When we look at cake flour, it has increased about 13% year on year. Potatoes have increased by about 22 percent year on year. The Bureau for Food and Agricultural Policy found that families are underspending on food by a minimum of 46.8 percent. There's not much you can do but you've got to look for value for money and not waste. I used to be able to afford like to buy the basics but now when I look at my food basket now things are different. So when I get inside the shop it's a matter of what's the cheapest that I can buy. I'm a pensioner and my husband were both pensioners. I used to shop wherever I felt like shopping and just do my shopping. Now, since this has happened, I look out for specials. It's affected us a great deal. Ukraine, Russia and Belarus are the largest suppliers of maize, wheat and sunflower oil. Global supply constraints and climate change impacts have pushed up input prices, making food more unaffordable. The more food goes up, more the cost of uh, energy, and general cost of living on average um, goes up, the, the more people get uh, to, to, to push below the poverty line and more people go hungry on a daily basis. Over 600 million people go on an empty stomach to bed every day and the bulk of those people are in Africa. There's the added pressure of rising interest rates in South Africa that's made servicing debt even harder. Particularly in, uh, in South Africa where we're looking at uh, sub 2% growth um, over the past few years, and in some cases with absolutely no growth at all. So inflation and this increase in food prices and increase in energy prices means that the consumer has far less money to, to spend than they had before. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization has warned that food insecurity and malnutrition is on the rise, with one in five people in Africa facing hunger. Samitra Nadu, CGTN, Johannesburg, South Africa.